need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delight to be joined by a man I haven't seen in a long time, Adam Mohammed. Very good to see you, my man. How's things? Yeah, all good, you know. Just um, moved up to Manchester, new camp with um, Pat Barrett now. Just grafting away. Hopefully, see me soon. Yeah, when I say I haven't seen you, it's been just over six months. Um, February was your last fight on, on BT Sports. Let's talk about the change. So, you're moving up to Manchester. You're 21, still 21? Yeah. yeah. Big move to make at that age and kind of put. I guess the home comforts aside, um, but we know what Pat's about. Um, so I guess a sensible move in a boxing sense, but a big move for you personally? Yeah, just get out of your comfort zone, uh, get away from a few distractions and just fully focus on the boxing yeah. with um, top trainer Pat Barrett around, good kids, Linden, boxing Friday for a world title. Um, Zelfa's fought for a world title, should get another shot. Just around, good crop, even the kids coming up in the gym, good fighters. Yeah, does it kind of, uh, I guess watching them, does it kind of give you a little instinct into what it will take to go to the top? So you said Zelfa fought for a world title, Lyndon will fight for the IBO on Friday night. Does it give you that little insight into, even when they're not training and they're resting, just kind of the things that they do? Yeah, no, 100%, just watching them train. It's like, you've got to put the hard work in to get to these places and they're, they're definitely putting the hard work in. So it rubs on, rubs off on everyone. So uh Someone's doing it next year, you're going to want to do it as well and <laughs> try to beat them, do you know what I'm trying to say? So, like, yeah, even in the runs and that, Zelfa's flying on them, so I'm trying to catch up to him, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and with the kind of gap that you've had in between, obviously, I know you love fighting. So, has it been not tough because I guess you're still training and you're still around boxing, but I know you want to be in the ring under the lights doing your thing. So, has it been a little bit tough, I guess, especially watching other fighters you know? get under the lights and, and get their chance six months out. It is quite a long time. 100%. It's been a headache. I'm not even going to lie. Been a bit of a roller coaster, like, but just been grafting away. So uh, nothing's gone to waste. Yeah. I've, I've probably done a few camps with the boys. Like, I've done two camps already, <laughs> really and truthfully. We've Pat got kids on his show. So I've done their camp. They, they boxed in um, June, I think, last. They're boxing again this weekend as well. So I've done two camps with them. So... I need to be out soon. I've got itchy knuckles, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I ain't been out since February, but all in due time. Yeah. And it's been a month since you moved here. Um, obviously, over time, you will notice the improvements more. Month isn't the longest amount of time, but have you noticed different things already kind of in yourself? Yeah, no, 100% the training over is different level, really. Like, you can't really mess about with that. So <laughs> anything goes, you know what I'm trying to say? You've got to graft hard. And I just I was just seeing the improvements really, just seeing little little things, not even massive improvements, like but like the little things that make a big difference in a fight. Say if your jab ain't going, like Pat's got you throwing jabs twenty four seven. Do you know what I'm gonna say? And nothing's gonna be perfect with him, so you're always learning. Do you know what I'm gonna say? Always getting better. So that's all. It's all learning right now. And in terms of getting out next, have you got a date in mind, or has there been any talks about when we can see you next? Um, no date right now, but uh, I will have a date in the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah. I will have a date, 100%. And itchy knuckles means the next man's getting it. <laughs> no, 100%. <laughs> He's getting it, 100 fully. He's walking the flank, mate. He's walking the flank. You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 